And that's because this system is totally built upon artificially inflated and fake prices. The list prices for medicines are wildly overinflated relative to their actual cost. PBMs, for whatever reason, continue to use the broken and antiquated average wholesale price or AWP as the basis for their pricing guarantees, both when paying pharmacies and when billing plan sponsors. Brand drugs have high AWPs that are offset by those big $200 billion pot of rebates and discounts that can make the real costs, or at least the ultimate amount that drug makers bring in, significantly lower than what those list prices might give you the perception of. But generic drugs also have high AWPs that are often borrowed from brand name drugs that in no way reflect the actual prices pharmacies pay to acquire the drugs. In both regards, the real prices are completely hidden, and those who claim to provide savings on medicines often quantify their excellent value of those savings by basing them off of the artificially inflated and bogus list prices that are born out of industry dysfunction.